Okay. Well, I found some XLs. And uh, oddly, I've always used NGK plugs. I probably bought these in around 92 and tried them out when I bought those uh, XL plug wires. And it's probably, it might even be the other motor before I got this one rebuilt. Because they all look a little bit, they've been soaking in transmission fluid in this, in this Nestle's quick container for a long time with some other regular like lawnmower plugs or something. But, uh, <coughs> but the one that just broke was a surprise because I've always used NGKs. And maybe I had one break or something, I don't know, because this is an AC Delco CR43TSM. I don't think I can show it very good on there, but anyway. Um, I already showed it's it's more already showed what it kind of look where is it? There it is but anyway it was burning okay uh, at one point and maybe it maybe it died yesterday I mean I didn't bang into it or anything problem with these is uh, being able to know whether they're any good at all you know I usually if I know one's bad I'm not gonna save it you know but uh, but I used to soak them in transmission fluid too when when I had an engine that was the original engine that was in here fouled two I think two of the plugs regularly even though it ran good and everything it was valve guide seals is what it was They'll do that on the Chevys and the old Dodge engines. The 318 in that van does the same thing on And I just haven't ever felt up to trying to put... I've got made a little tool way back years ago. I welded a, uh, the front end of a spark plug onto an air, quick change air chuck, air, you know, for an air hose. And then you can put air, air pressure in the cylinder. Uh, and then you can uh, take the rocker arm pull the you got to pull the spring you know you can pull the valve spring without dropping the valve down in the cylinder let me look these over without trying to show them the camera so much maybe i can figure out it's either going to be one of these or dig around in the back of the truck but i looked in the toolbox no plugs i looked in the uh these are the ones from the garage that i was talking about earlier kind of stuck a junk on it. It could be. Thing is, they've been in there and junk's floating around in there, so. This one and this one's a, That one looks kind of worn. Must have used them a while. It looks kind of, one of them there looks kind of, that one's been dropped. Looks kind of burnt down. A couple of them do. I'll just go with the ones that Kind of have the best outward appearance. It looked like they have never been fouled. Because a lot of times when they've been fouled, there's still gunk on them. I never have bothered. I don't bother to clean them until I decide to use them. So it looks like I've got old gunk still on some of them. Old uh, carbon, what I mean. Not just gunk from floating around in there. That one looks warm. So, uh, that one doesn't look too warm. That one, to me, looks like the, the best one. It looks the least burnt. So I'm going to save those three out in case I need any of them. And uh, I'll use this one. That is an XL 566. They got a short number. I don't know what the number means. I, I used to know my, you know, I used to always know my NGKs and usually the ACs and stuff. But I'm going to kind of make sure there's nothing in there. If I feel anything in there, then I'll change my mind. Yeah, it's clean in there. Just do all three of these right now. Then I'll blow them out. Maybe more. I think I'll go ahead and put this one in and start it up just for a minute just to see if it runs okay. And then 
go, the, I'm just going to do the rest of them, inspect them. That's something I used to always do, just, just ever so often. Just, but I haven't been doing that. I used to be enthusiastic about maintenance, but that was when I had a lot more energy. Alright, let me get my air blower. I used up all my air pressure and I haven't run it. Get the crap off the threads. That ought to be good enough. Broken plug. That would be good for making one of those tools. You know, I haven't seen that in quite a few years. I could make me one of those tools if I need it. That'd probably fit the Dodge, too. Of course, I always had a specific heat range that I like to run in the... Oh, yeah, these will come off. or clean that up a bit. So, you could put that in a different kind of a setup. Lawnmowers used to always... And motorcycles used to always be that way. I don't notice that. I've had them, <laughs> forgot to tighten those up and had them come loose on me and the plug wire come off with it in there. The pliers. See that little spot on your pliers? That's what that's for. That's why they made it that way. I'm going to have to have a sock. Yes, I'm just kidding. I don't know, that won't go on. Ah, I gotta get some else. That's when a crest wrench comes in handy. I used to just do it with pliers because you don't want to overdo it and break it. But so you want it tight. Well, let's do that. I forgot the air compressor was running, making noise, but at least I was close. Turn it off now. Well, let's turn the camera off. I'm done right here. I'm going to go put that in. I'll go turn the other camera on.